Hi, I'm Chris Willow Williams with the Go Getter team at Keller Williams Realty, Peachtree Road, located right here in Metro Atlanta. And today I'm going to do a little year end review for you. We're going to cover some of what's happened over 2014. This year we've seen the pace of homes, the sales pace continue at about the same rate as it was in 2013, which is actually pretty strong considering the low inventory that we've had on the market this year. Inventory continues to be a chief factor in the pace of sales in the real estate market in Metro Atlanta. We, have, we average about four months worth of inventory on the market, which signals to us as real estate agents that it continues to be a seller's market. We expect that seller's market to continue into 2015 as the um, interest rates stay low, we expect to see more buyers coming out to purchase property. Because the price points have risen over the last several years, we know more sellers will be apt to come to market and take advantage of it and do some moving around. So if you haven't found your house in 2014, please stay tuned for 2015. There are several projects that are going to be happening over the city of Atlanta that are making this an attractive place for many people, both businesses who are bringing jobs as well as governmental organizations and also new entrepreneurs starting up here. We, we've seen the announcement of the deepening of the Savannah Port, which was funded by the federal government this year. We've also seen uh, several other projects announced around the city of Atlanta, which include the Turner Field Stadium, which will be built now in Cobb, and the old Turner Field site will actually be sold, uh, and there's the potential for a $1.1 billion project. So that Grant Park um, area will see an uh, uptick in the number of people interested in that area. We've also seen the completion of things like the Pont City Market in the 044 area, the Avalon out in Alpharetta, uh, and these are spawning growth in and around those areas. Some of the other projects that will be coming to market, I mentioned the GM project out in Dorafield. There's also the Buckhead Atlanta project that's finishing up uh, that will be coming to market. There's the airport city that they're looking at along with the underground uh, in downtown Atlanta, which was sold, and they're expected to erect some residential towers and the potential new development that could be coming in years to come. Uh, another thing is the Atlanta Falcon Stadium is also being redeveloped. We've seen the Atlanta streetcar get announced and it's on the road testing to date. And also the Beltline project continues to move along at a fast pace, and they expect to be adding transit to that in the next couple of years. We know that the Metro Atlanta market has been strong over the last several years, but we believe that it will be even stronger over the next several. Things like the movie studio productions, which have been taking place in the Metro Atlanta market, along with the port deepening that I mentioned, will continue to attract other businesses and jobs to come to the area. Along with the strong construction market, which we've seen uptick because of the number of residential buildings that are being built around the city of Atlanta, as you drive, you can see tons of uh, high rises going up, just like it was before the recession. If you have any interest in the Metro Atlanta market, you have any questions about houses, give us a call at 404-994-5100. We'd be happy to answer any questions for you. Or as always, you can email us at homes at gogetterteam.com. Thank you.